In this video, we discuss the division algorithm for integers. Remember that integers may be positive, negative, or, in the case of zero, neither positive nor negative. However, division by zero is an illegal operation in mathematics, and therefore we will never consider the case where the number that we are dividing by, in our examples the variable b, is equal to zero. Furthermore, in a previous video, we discussed that the remainder r must be bigger than or equal to zero, but always be less than the number we are dividing by, which in our case is the variable b. Due to this restriction on the values that the remainder r can have, b will always be a positive integer or a natural number. In this video, we will consider two separate division algorithms. One for when the input a is non-negative, that is, zero or bigger, and one where the input a is strictly negative. In this slide, we present the division algorithm for the non-negative input a. This algorithm takes a non-negative integer a and natural number b as input, and outputs two integers q and r, such that a is equal to b times q plus r, and the remainder r satisfies the requirement zero is less than or equal to r, is less than b, which is the definition of division we covered in a previous video. The first step in this algorithm is the conditional statement, if a is less than b, then return the values 0 and a, where 0 is returned for the value of the quotient and a is returned for the value of the remainder. Remember that following any return statement, the algorithm is immediately terminated. So, if the conditional statement if a is less than b is true, then we return the values 0 and a, and we do not proceed further with our algorithm. Assuming that the conditional statement in step 1 is false, we proceed to steps 2 and 3, which are to define the variable q and assign it the value of 0, and create the variable r and assign it the value of a. In step 4, we come to a repeat statement signifying that we are entering a loop. This loop consists of two steps. The first is to redefine the variable r to take on the value r minus b, and the second is to redefine the variable q to take on the value q plus 1. We continue to do this until the stopping condition r is less than b is satisfied, at which point we proceed to step 6 and return the values q and r. Let's run this algorithm with the inputs a equals 20 and b equals 3. Remember that this means that we are computing the division of 20 by 3. The first step in this algorithm is to check whether 20 is less than 3. 20 is not less than 3, so the conditional statement is false, meaning we skip the instructions to return 0 and a and proceed to steps 2 and 3 which are to define the variable q to take on the value 0, and define the variable r to take on the value of the input a, which in our case is 20. Next, we come to the repeat statement and enter the loop. Inside this loop, we first redefine the variable r to take on the value r minus b. The current value of r is 20, and the current value of b is 3, so after reassignment, the variable r will take on the value 20 minus 3, which is equal to 17. Similarly, we redefine the variable q to take on the value q plus 1. The current value of q is 0, so after reassignment, the variable q will have the value 0 plus 1, which is 1. Now that we've finished both of the steps inside the loop, we need to check if the stopping condition r less than b is satisfied. The current value of r is 17, and the current value of b is 3. 17 is not less than 3, so we need to enter the loop again. This loop must be repeated a further five times before the stopping condition r less than b is satisfied. For the sake of time, here are the values for r and q for the second, third, 4th, 5th, and 6th iterations of this loop. 
after the sixth iteration, the value for r is equal to 2, and the value for q is equal to 6, and these values are returned as output. So, the division of 20 by 3 can be expressed in the statement 20 is equal to 3 times 6 plus 2. Now, let's discuss the division algorithm for when the integer that we are dividing, in this case the variable a, is negative. This algorithm is very similar to the previous algorithm with a few minor adjustments. This algorithm accepts a negative integer a and a natural number b as inputs and returns as outputs the integers q and r such that a is equal to b times q plus r and 0 is less than or equal to r is less than b, which fits the definition of division from the previous video. The first steps in this algorithm are to create the variable q and assign it the value of 0, and create the variable r and assign it to the value of the input a. Next, we come to a repeat statement and enter a loop. Inside of this loop, we redefine the variable r and assign it the value r plus b, and redefine the variable q and assign it the value q minus 1. We continue to do this until the stopping condition r is greater than or equal to 0 is satisfied, at which point we return the values of q and r. Let's run this algorithm with the inputs a equals negative 27 and b equals 7. Remember that this means we are computing the division of negative 27 by 7. Our first steps are to create the variable q and assign it the value 0, and create the variable r and assign it the value of the input variable a, which in this case is negative 27. Next, we enter the loop. The first step in the loop is to redefine the variable r to take on the value r plus b. The current value of r is negative 27, and the current value of b is 7. So after reassignment, the variable r will have the value negative 27 plus 7, which is negative 20. The next step in the loop is to redefine the variable q to take on the value q minus 1. The current value of q is 0, so after reassignment, the variable q will have the value 0 minus 1, which is negative 1. Now that we've finished both of the steps inside of the loop, we need to check if the stopping condition, r is greater than or equal to 0, is satisfied. Negative 20 is not greater than or equal to 0, so we must re-enter the loop and apply the steps again. This loop must be run an additional three times before the stopping condition is satisfied. At the end of the fourth iteration of the loop, the value for q is negative 4 and the value of r is 1, which are returned as output. So, the division of negative 27 by 7 can be expressed by the statement negative 27 is equal to negative 4 times 7 plus 1. Before we give you some examples to try on your own, we'd like to introduce some additional notation to define the quotient and the remainder. Let a be any integer and b be a natural number, and let q and r be the unique integers such that 0 is less than or equal to r is less than b, and a is equal to b times q plus r. Then, we denote the quotient q of the division of a by b by the phrase a div b, and we denote the remainder r of the division of a by b by the phrase a mod b. The topics of div and mod will be expanded upon in later videos in this series, so it is important that you get used to the terminology now, as we will use the phrases quotient, div, remainder, and mod interchangeably. To get some practice with the division algorithm, try computing the quotient and remainder for the inputs a equals negative 17 and b equals 6, and again with the inputs a equals 71 and b equals 25. For the inputs a equals negative 17 and b equals 6, the quotient a div b is negative 3, and the remainder a mod b is equal to 1. 
for the inputs a equals 71 and b equals 25, the quotient a div b is equal to 2, and the remainder a mod b is equal to 21.